so burden of command two will just be um burden of command two lord of the rings and you'll be gandalf and and you'll have to lead all the. i feel like those books are all really about leadership like it's just about like following around a group of like superhuman oh leaders i have to go i read that seven times as a kid so i'm a geek oh wow but, oh my god i have to go get right for lord of the rings the R- the leadership rpg i'm so you know, laughing battle of a <laughs> burden of command two, the battle of the pelinor fields and then you just follow around all the major characters who are leading you know soldiers in combat and you know the nazgul uh, show up and then you gotta put you gotta bolster your men with gandalf you know to, to convince them not to run away from from the nazgul and you're good well, yeah. Games like Field of Glory get that across. You know, the leadership, especially in the ancients, was very important on the battlefield. Alexander the Great, I remember, he was at an Indian city, and he was late in campaign. Nobody wanted to be in an Indian campaign anymore. And he gets up on the wall, and they're not following him because they're sick of it, frankly, even though they love Alexander. And by God, Alexander jumped off the wall into the enemy city by himself. They went, oh, my God, you know, as they should like. And they all charged in to save him. And the guy, the guy was insane. He was down there fighting everybody by himself. And they ran in to save him. That's the story. So now there's an example of lead by example. <laughs> wow. Um, so I want to kind of move on to. Oh, um, oh my God. That's great. <laughs> I'm surprised you read that seven times. I I, I got stuck halfway through uh, fellowship. Um, I don't believe she's obsessed, I guess. <laughs> I have not read it seven times, but I've I've read it maybe twice all the way through, and then also the Cimmerillion. Oh well. No, you're pretty hardcore. I I think I managed through the Cimmerillion once, but that that was a bit of a slog. So I never said that. It was fantastic. <laughs> you no, know, it's a it's a slog. <laughs> It's a history textbook, oh, yeah. but I'm okay. Yeah. I'd like to shout out for Battle Brothers. Does a great job of a morale-driven battlefield. I don't, know, I can't remember how much they do leaders, but man, they're great. You know, somebody gets uh, killed in the battlefield, everybody freaks out. You know, around them, and it's just great. And that's the kind of thing we're striving for because even in modern battlefields, morale is still fundamentally important. Field, my men will be like, thank God. <laughs> I actually was going to ask that question too, but it's funny you mentioned Battle Brothers because for some reason that also came to my mind. I was thinking, what are what are the games that have like a pretty severe battlefield mechanic for morale? And definitely Battle Brothers. Oh, oh well, you want severe battlefield mechanics? Please go visit one of one of the things I always look at: Darkest Dungeon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I played oh that one God. too, but uh, oh, that's, that's too much of a grind. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Battle Can Brothers we- is really good. I also think. Uh, uh, Fields of Glory, you know, uh, two was, did I get it right? Fields of Glory? I feel like I'm... Yeah, Fields of Glory, that's right. Fields of Glory, too, you know, a heavy amount of morale um, influence, 